So, without further ado, let me introduce our guests. Julius Cho has been on um, a bunch of anime uh, in, in, in his time. He's been on Paw Patrol. He's been on Bakugan Battle Planet. Uh, most recently, he's uh, just finished filming uh, Poor Lucky Rich Boy. And Devin Christian Mack uh, is a uh, voice actor and uh, casting director and voice director. He's been on Bakugan Battle Planet, Wish Fart. He recently played uh, Thanos. He played Thanos in a show. I, I believe it was a show. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to get him to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he's been in, in the in the voice acting world in Toronto. He's uh, three Amiganauts. Uh, hang on, there's one more that I was going to say. That, uh, 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 oh God, my brain is already dead. Oh, my God. Mr. Cons, that was it. Mr. Cons. So, Mr. Cons, Wish Fart, three Amiganauts. Powerbirds and back again, Battle Planet. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ones in the chat. It's Julius and Devon Mac, guys. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. What's going on? Not much, my friend. How are? I'm good. Oh, dude, Devon, you are so quiet. Oh, let's fix that. How about now? <laughs> oh, we're getting there. A little oh, bit more. Hear me? A little now? bit more. Hello. A little bit more. All right. There you go. I can turn cool. you up here as well. I can turn you up here as well. Testing. Hello. Give me one more. How about we good? There we go. There we okay. go. Okay. Wonderful. Cool, cool. Welcome to the welcome to the stream, guys. I appreciate you being here. Oh, well, thank you for having us. It's good to be here. No, it's wonderful. Um, so, I mean, I, I probably massacred your 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 uh your credits there, but do you want to just give us like a rundown of? of the kind of things that we can know you from? Uh, I'd say you did a pretty good job. I did a good um, job? Okay. I was, did it, was I, there one was that you were like, oh, for God's sake, you didn't even mention this one thing. <laughs> it, I, I feel like you got you got most of the big ones, so it's yeah. good. The thing I played Thanos in, uh, it was called, uh, it's by the same company that makes the, the Funko Pops. Uh, Funko Marvel Battle World, it's called. Right. And uh, that's on YouTube on... Uh, Marvel HQ, and it's going to be on Disney XD tomorrow. Whoa! Uh, so I, yeah. Uh, so I played. I played Thanos there. I was also a, an internet guy for a big, long while on like Newgrounds and YouTube. I did a web series called Terrain of Magical Expertise. Uh, nice. Most famously, I, I narrated a uh, thirteen-year-old's angry, badly written video game review. Called, oh. Uh, Dot dot dot. A review by Axman Thirteen. This ah. game is so shitty. Uh, so yeah. Uh, aside from that, yeah, I feel like you got all all the big things. My first show was uh, Grossology on uh, Discovery Kids, and yeah, that's that's most of what what matters. We nice. Uh, and Julius. Um, I think you covered most of it. I mm. I didn't get it to hear your intro, unfortunately, oh, but totally uh, I think you. The, the big stuff so thank you <laughs> no no you're quite all right um uh, so welcome um are you guys big uh big into twitch and things like that mac i know you have like an account but do you do you watch a lot of twitch i have an account yes uh mm. i don't watch i don't watch a ton of, of, of twitch i've got a, a few uh friends who stream but mm -hmm. even then like i don't have time to follow people as much as i as i wish i could unfortunately yeah, yeah i'm the same way yeah. yeah, but you guys are aware of it because I've had a bunch of people that are like this is the oh, yeah. first time I've ever, uh, <laughs> uh, ever, ever, ever experienced the website. So that's great. Um, welcome for thank you for being here. Um, oh, if if uh, just people in the chat are asking if they can see you. If you guys are not camera ready, that's totally okay. You know what? Just in case, I did I did prepare for that. Oh okay. my god! Even though... Dazzled are you, Dev? Uh, it's uh, not not as much as I could be. It, it, seriously, don't feel stre don't feel pressured to be on cam if you don't want to be. That's totally fine. You are voice actors after all. I'm a okay with it. Okay. Well, Julius is the Mister. Yeah, I'm good too. I'm... Okay, I I need you to push the buttons though, boys. Oh. Technology. Oh, we got Mac. We got Julius as well. You want to push the button, Julius? There we go. Okay, wonderful. You won't see me because I'm on the thing. Right. But hey, oh. guys. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Oh, you kind of dipped out there. Hang on. 
Okay, there we have Julius on the right. Mac, you're yeah, still loading. Oh, you know what? I should plug in my Ethernet. Why didn't I do that before? Maybe that'll help a little bit. Let's see. Uh, Jul Julius, are you in your are you in your recording booth right now? Oh, you deafened yourself. Hi, are you in the recording booth right now? Is that your home setup? You've just muted yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional, guys. He's a professional. Don't worry. Are you all right? Oh god! Uh -oh. oh, he's dropped it. Oh god! Technical oh, difficulties. No. <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone's used to a car crash on my stream. It's great. It's fine. The whole thing is 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 just gonna be. Oh. Goodness. Do you want to reconnect? I can re. I can. We can just pretend like this didn't happen. And I'm still. Am I invisible? On no, the, you're on still. It's still like trying to load your video. That's so weird. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello. Oh, thank you, you're all okay. good. Hey. You're all good. All right. Oh, I think I got it. I think. Hello. 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 Julie? So my issue is just. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, you're fine. Nice. <laughs> Hi. Is I don't I don't use Discord as much, so it's like trying to figure out hey. the options. Hey, hey. we got there. <laughs> oh okay. my goodness. We got there. Oh my god. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys being on the on the on the cam for me. Thank you. Um, so sorry, you were saying you don't you don't use Discord that much? No, I don't. So it's uh kind of new like new territory for me, but it's it's wonderful that I can like talk to you guys and still see see Dev's beautiful face. Oh my goodness. And yours, Miles. On yeah, screen. well I'm on the stream rather than on the Discord, yeah, but yeah. it still counts. It still yeah. counts. Still um, counts. It still counts. So so like i think a bunch of people you know we have quite a young audience right now because right. of because of the next step and stuff so like how how did you guys dis was it was it a a, a a a conscious decision to get into voice acting would you would you say that like you were like i'm gonna do voice acting or was it just something you kind of fell into dev you want to go first yeah dev uh would oh okay i guess i don't have a choice in the matter no, no it, uh... we'll go left or right it's 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 fine uh, for me, I never would have imagined that I'm doing this today because I was the shyest kid in school, like by mm. far. Um, a lot of it really was just me watching a lot of cartoons as the shy kid. Like when I was sad after school, I'd watch a lot of cartoons and they'd, they'd cheer me up. Um, stuff like like Beast Wars, stuff like Samurai yo, Pizza Cat. Oh, yo, okay, and, let's and go. Hearing, these these actors are on these show and I'd be looking them up online and I was like, wait a minute, like this is a real job. Mm. They do stuff like this in Canada. Why don't I try to do it? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so again, I went I went to doing the internet stuff for a while just just for fun as like a hobby and as luck would have it, I, I got involved with the right workshops. I uh, met someone named Sunday Muse who's very sweet, very helpful. Uh, got an agent and next thing i knew 14 months later i was on tv somehow not knowing what i was doing and wow. definitely not ready for it wow uh, but you know i stuck it through after almost getting fired for really not being ready for it <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh 14 14 and a half years later i'm i'm still here somehow so wow life's weird like that i thought i'd be a basketball player didn't grow tall enough here i am now <laughs> Well, that that's I mean, yeah. Instead of basketball, I think I think yeah, I think the the voice acting seems to be uh, your wheelhouse, buddy. Although I haven't played you at basketball yet, so I don't know. Maybe you'll school me at that anyway. I'm terrible at basketball. And Julius, what about you? Was it was this a con conscious decision? Yeah, um, I I grew up funny enough watching Newgrounds videos of Dev without actually knowing him. Huh? Um, yeah, and so that was kind of the first whisper of that this was a really fun thing to do mm. i went to theater school and uh being the only asian guy there they didn't really know what to do with me mm -hmm. and i like bumped into a, a great teacher named ellie ray hennessy who kind of mm -hmm. showed me that animation voice acting was uh, a profession that didn't that didn't need like what you looked like didn't didn't matter how many pounds you weighed or yeah. it had like a leading man role and you could you could do beautiful work and actually yeah. inspire people with like well, like I grew up watching Futurama and Digimon. Those are like yes. top, top like up there, top right? tier. Oh right? yes, oh yes. Yeah, and and those voice actors were inspiring, and like 
it, it's crazy that I, I had this goal while I was still in school. So I went to Toronto when I was in Windsor and I would like take workshops and just like dev, mm. meet the right people, be given a chance over and over again when I kept thinking I like would get fired. <laughs> and yeah, it's um it's kind of still a dream, I gotta say. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a gift to be able to do this and it's it means so much that I get to like see fan art and and see fans. All yeah. Just, no, because uh, because I mean Bakugan. Would you guys say that Bakugan is the is the big one for you guys? It in is terms of like fandom. I I don't know if I'd say necessarily for me. It's been one of the big ones for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely been I think the one I've had the most episodes of because it's really hard to get something that gets renewed uh, these days if it's not Paw Patrol. <laughs> uh, true. <laughs> so. Uh, Bakugan's been a lot of fun. I've really mm, yeah. enjoyed getting to, getting to meet a lot of the cast. Uh, yeah. Julius is pretty cool too. Um, and, and the it, game has been a lot of fun as well. So yeah. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Yes, you, I, I saw you uh, you posted on your Instagram that you guys, was, was that the first time you guys had played Bakugan proper in, in, in the real world as it were? Or is, are you guys like secret Bakugan players that you've always just it was just like oh my god I finally get to be on Bakugan I've been playing this since I was five or whatever no no I well I, I don't know about dev but I I had learned by getting Magnus to just be like I want to learn how to play this game yeah um, well, well I, I learned from you so I know <laughs> <laughs> and he's and dev then... is so He's so good at this game now that I I has he's become he's, the master yeah <laughs> it hurts um, so it. Uh, we got a we got a ten dollar uh, donation. Thank you very oh, much from you. Anonymous. So I don't know who that was, oh, but they hey. want they thank wanted you know. to ask um, if you want to oh, get into yeah. professional voice acting in Canada. How do you start mm. if you have no connections in the industry? Ooh. Would you like to go first, now? Since you're the uh, How expert. about you answer first this time? Sure. I would say the very first thing you need to do is create a commercial demo above mm. all and what that is is kind of like your resume or your cv but vocally um and how that entails is always research look around what kind of commercials your voice would be perfect for um as you can hear mine it's like a tech warm kind of youngish uh, like 20 something mm -hmm. so i'm able to kind of do uh e-learning stuff a lot or um just kind of instructional videos yeah and that way Find someone who can help you record good quality of it. And then, of course, I think this is what Dev and I do. We tape that demo, which is our resume. Find an agent of that you mesh well. Doesn't matter if they're big or small. If you feel a good connection, mm -hmm. this agent. And I don't know if, uh, does Anonymous know what agents are? I, I don't know if they're... Well, uh, yeah, I, I yeah. mean, yeah, it's... Yeah. I, I don't know. There wasn't, there wasn't any kind of... Sure. Uh, because I, I don't know give, how much give us a, uh, give us a brief overview yeah. we don't have to go deep yeah. into behind sure. baseball but inside think, baseball think, yeah think, think an agent as basically the middleman between you and jobs between mm -hmm. you and auditions and they will call you up and use that same demo in order to um basically apply you for these jobs yes and then you will take their let's say their reads or their audition material and then you'll read it um, as a character, hopefully, and mm. if they like it, you'll get the job, and that's how that's how Dev and I kind of build our careers. Just yeah. that kind of rinse and repeat. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to add to that one, Dev? I will say uh, this much as far as demos go: it's it's so important to make sure that you are absolutely ready before mm -hmm. you're investing money in that, and before you're really shopping your demo around, because oftentimes that is your first impression. Mm. So if you don't have experience. If your demo isn't good uh, and and it's because you've just started, you come back to that same person two years later, they might they may not give you another shot because mm -hmm. they've got yes. so many people sometimes yes. trying to get in there. You got to know that you're ready. So so try to get as many opinions from from as many different people as you can. Uh, take those workshops, take any of those yes. acting classes. Uh, many of them are being offered online these days. Funnily uh, enough, funnily enough. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there are communities that are also really, really good uh, for getting into voice acting online. There are yeah. our Discord groups, there are message boards, yes, uh, yeah. like like the Voice Acting Club uh, yep. on. It's got on its Discord own form it's and got subreddit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great things like that. And, it, and do you think? Oh, sorry. Go on. 
gonna, uh, I was just going to say, and if Anonymous is curious about those workshops, one mm -hmm. I'd highly recommend is uh, KH Casting. Mm -hmm. That's K and an H and a casting. Uh, where they do a lot of online, really like low-cost Zoom meetings where you kind of do an hour of work and you get to like feel and understand what a casting director is looking for too. Mm. We have like a bunch of different varieties of different uh, voice acting niches from animation to audiobooks to commercial. So if that's if that's a place to start, I'd probably recommend there. And and do you do you think did you guys um, before you had agents? Did you have a lot of because I know uh, Dev, you you did a bunch of stuff on Newgrounds, which is kind of very kind mm -hmm. of like seat of your pants i'll just throw it out there and you know they're asking for something i'll try my best and whatever so did you guys oh. right right that was that was uh, unless that your agent was... got, unless your agent got you new grounds work i'm not i'm not gonna make that presumption but i'm presuming it was done on your own on your own time um, oh yeah but when i started that was like whoever has a microphone like i, I yeah. had people on there when i started out i probably sounded like like the drive through at mcdonald's <laughs> like that that's that's what almost everybody sounded like yeah uh, <laughs> yeah and i think that i think i think um mic quality has gone up and cost of mics oh, have gone yeah, down yeah. for sure and it's Your it's a lot changed. more it's a lot more about uh, as you can tell, uh, Dev is in is in his his closet right now because that's kind of the best place he can get a good quality uh, sound from. And uh, Julius is in the dark void because that's where he gets the best <laughs> sound quality from uh, with Julius no echo. He's in the shadow realm right now. Yeah, he's in I... the shadow realm. <laughs> well, we do anime, man, and I am darkest faction, so I have to be in pitch black, man. That's it. That's it. That's where I get my darkness. Um. Yeah. So, so did you guys? do a bunch of kind of like amateur work beforehand and then use that to try and find an agent did you or did you have someone gesundheit did you have Thank someone you. uh recommend you to an agent how did you find an agent Th that's three questions so you know take your time with that one um yeah Deb, you whoever wants to go first Okay, uh, I'll try to remember all three of those. I will say my my amateur Newgrounds work starting out didn't really do much in the way of okay. making anybody on the professional side care. Yes. Right. At all. Yes. Uh, a, lo a lot of what I did was like Super Mario, like fighting Sonic and stuff right. like that. Right, right. Uh, so, yes. so uh, it was definitely good for the purpose of just getting experience reading from scripts written yep. by 13 year olds. Mm hmm. Uh, which can be very valuable in and of, uh, in and of itself. Learning yes. how to work with material that's poorly written and find a way to actually make it yes. interesting has yes. done a lot in the long run. Yes. Um, but what really mattered was they, uh, the agent that I went to, they were giving me test scripts. In addition to listening to my demo, they were giving me te uh, scripts then and there to see what I could do with them and to see if I could offer competitive reads right there on the spot. Because that's another key thing. If you have so much workshopping and production put into your demo to make it sound good, to make it sound maybe even better than you really are, yes. you're going to be exposed really, really quickly. If you get into that live environment, you can't deliver. Yeah, yeah for sure. And and Julius, did you uh, w did people recommend you to an agent? Did you uh, go hunting? Did you you know yeah, I, pound the pavement? So uh, yeah, I, I was I was fortunate enough to, uh, when I did workshops in Toronto, meet a lot of people who would recommend agencies and stuff like that. Mm. And funny enough, the guy who used to be the sound technician of my agency was a guy who built my demos. And so wow. when this young uh, guy who's still in university applied for the agency, my agent asked this guy, was like, yo, is he good? And he was like, yeah, like rep him and i was like wow okay so I, I already had representation before i even graduated wow that's incredible yeah, that was, so so would you say that it's i mean we seem to have a running theme with a lot of my guests that it's it's very much like who you know like building those yeah, quality relationships absolutely. not networking in that disgusting way that a lot of people try and sell <laughs> help help books and no, things it, like that yeah but... it's like building genuine relationships and bonds yes. and mm -hmm. i think we're we're all actors we're all performers and i i mean like everyone where if you can feel someone's fake or someone's kind of a little too too nice or too desperate you can yes. kind of feel that and it, yes mm -hmm. and automatically it's a turnoff because you're like well, i feel like you've got something you want rather than you just want to know how my day is or how are you how yeah are you doing it? But, yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. 
yeah it's yeah. it's it's um a, 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 being being a, a normal person who would have thought that that would actually help you get get ahead in any kind of career that you want to do uh yeah. i i have to just take a, a quick uh aside because um emily my previous guest behind the scenes emily just donated 150 dollars to the stream which Whoa. is absolutely incredible so emily. thank you emily. thank you so much emily she wants a headshot of me which is hilarious but okay great we'll do that for you i'll give that to you next time i see you and, thank you very much for the 150 dollar donation we've just gone over 2000 so we just Whoa. raised 2037 dollars for color of change which is absolutely phenomenal so thank you Miles, I, I gotta say thank you for inviting us for this because this is oh an, like, it was a great idea and like thank you like i'm, I'm oh so happy mate I no i'm 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 touched that you guys were up for it honestly i thought i honestly thought i would have like one day of maybe two people say yes and it ended up having to be 18 hours of me being on stream because so many people said yes it's it, it's yeah, it's so awesome. heartwarming that Please make it's sure you so... stretch. <laughs> oh no, dude! Every time, like a a after yeah. every guest, I have to stand up, go for a pee, like do a yoga <laughs> pose. It's been, it's, it's a tradition yeah, now. Everyone, everyone yeah. in the chat is like, "Wow, he pees for ages." I'm, no, I'm like stretching, guys. <laughs> like I'm in this chair for nine hours. Yeah. Mm. So you getting up and then collapse and be like, "I can't, I can't move." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and so. Uh, Dev, you you have also kind of worked on. I don't know if you have, uh, Julius. Um, have you done much video game work as well? Because that's how we met. Was at the video game, uh, at the video game voiceover workshop. Yeah. Um. Which so, was so which fun. was incredible, um, incredible yeah. class. So so no, unfortunately, not yet. It's no. uh, it's it's, well, like one, we can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. but two, it's it's uh. It's uh, it's not a no. It's just the not yet. And not I, yet. I no, absolutely, absolutely. I'm not trying. To, I'm not yeah. trying to like out you as a hey. So how much work have you got? None. Okay, great. <laughs> None. No. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. in the shadow realm. Yeah, exactly. I got nothing. <laughs> um, uh, but Mac, you've done some some. You know, you worked on Dust. Um, and it, were, were you the were you the voice director on that or just the casting director? Sorry. Uh, I was I was both, and it's really funny how that one happened. Um, mm. Because that that viral video thing that I that I did, where I voiced the thing by the thirteen year old, that got so big that I was having all of these offers thrown at me by these animation producers, by these um, uh, indie game developers. Yeah. But again, they were all indie, and I was Actra. I was Union, yes, so I didn't actually. You, yeah. I was like, you guys need to spend a lot of money if yeah. you want everybody else in there to be extra. So mm. I told them, hey, how about instead uh, I offer to cast and direct this thing for you? Because I had, again, coming from these online communities where I was the first guy to make the jump to TV, I went to them and said, okay, well, how about all these friends of mine who I know yes. who are waiting to get their first big opportunity? So I, I recommended all these people like like mm. Justin Bryder, like, like Xander Mobis, Kira mm -hmm. Buckland, mm. uh, all these people who were known for their internet stuff but had never really gotten to do anything paying in their lives. Mm. And uh, that was a huge, huge thing for me in uh, 2012. Put a whole lot of time into making that work. A uh, whole lot of crazy development crunch where 12 months of development time ended up being condensed into three. Oh because, my uh, God. Because uh, Microsoft, uh, who were kind of acting as the publisher, said, hey, do you think uh, we've got this big summer promotion going on? We know wow. you plan to get it out uh, maybe like next year, but you think mm -hmm. you can have this thing done for like June? And it was like, it was like April at the time. Jeez. <laughs> so, God. um... Yeah, uh, crazy, crazy time. In fact, they were, we were even told, hey, if you can't get all the voice acting finished and recorded and, and cast in time, yeah. you might want to maybe release this without the voice acting. Oh, my God. Guess, oh wow. That's how scary it was. <sighs> my goodness. Whoa. Uh, but, and, 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 and to top it all off, to top it all off, I, I was also working on uh, on Beyblade and a oh, couple man. other shows while I was still casting and directing and doing all the sound editing for every character in Dust. Man alive. So I was going on the train that yeah. I was taking. I had my laptop with me editing all these sound files. Then I'd record for Beyblade, come back, and keep editing sound files for Dust. Got everything done on the last day of my deadline. 
and the developer is so happy he gets all the files <sighs> loads them into the into the game and the, and the the code crashes when he fires up the game no! oh no so, so he was freaking out he didn't know what to tell me because right. Microsoft was on his case of, to get this thing done. So he basically like like cried and then went to sleep and <laughs> took like a two hour nap. And then somehow when he was asleep, like he, he like went into the matrix <laughs> and his and his brain was like, here's how you have to rewind have to it out like, by read sleeping. all the code and make it all work. And he just wakes up and he's like, I know. I... <laughs> and, <laughs> And he rushed to his computer and fixed everything and and never told me until it was all good to go. Wow. But uh, it was, was quite Crazy. the adventure. I'm Gosh. glad it all worked what out a, the way What it a did. nightmare development. That sounds uh, so stressful. I've That's why I've got all the respect in the world for people uh, on the development side of things. Because uh, mm. the, what they have to put up with, especially when they're dealing with crunch, it is whoo, it's something else. Yeah, Do not absolutely, envy absolutely. It's, I mean, mm -hmm. it's in in every level of the industry for gaming. It's just everyone just gets wrecked by crunch. It's, I've been, yeah. I've been on it as well because I did, I did testing. It's just, mm -hmm. it ain't fun. Mm -hmm. Um, so Julius, you uh have been have done a lot of work recently on camera. We were on the same show together, which was hilarious, but we weren't on yeah. the same episode. So um sad, right? uh yeah i know we should have done it sucks uh yeah. brooke's gonna be on later brooke and brooke and oh, duchene are gonna be yeah. on later yeah oh, it's crazy yeah i know yeah. that like in yeah. the dark is half of today it's amazing um That's... and you well said done, that you... oh thank you what show is this it's, it's in, a, the dark? in the dark it's the on the cw, CW. yeah okay was it recorded wherever julius is right now yeah he's yeah he's in the dark it's literally it's just a bunch of people yeah. in a dark yeah. room yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that where you were the the flower shop thing? Yeah, the secret okay. secret drug dealer guy. Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. Yes. But... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, and you were you are professionally trained. You went to you went to drama school. Um. And I think a lot of people uh that that want to get into acting, uh, yeah. often wonder like, what's the right path to go for? Do you go to school? Do you not go to school? Do you do private classes? What's your What's your opinion on it? Uh, my, mine, mine's kind of mixed because I think everybody needs to come at this in a different way. I mean, we look mm. at Dev, how he's a he's a tremendous actor, but mm. like Guy never thought he needed to go to school for it because yes. he built it through experience. Yes, I would there say times when I wish I did. <laughs> <many times. laughs> uh, no, and I, I totally understand that. And and from a guy who's experienced in school, I think go for it if you really think it'll it'll help you really exercise and and help like crunch who you are as an mm -hmm. artist because mm -hmm. i would say like when i went to windsor for four years um and that, that, that sounds bad i'm like throwing shade <laughs> i no, please they're not watching it's fine yeah <laughs> good <laughs> i get an email immediately being like university of windsor being like what are you doing <laughs> um i would say find the things that give you joy when you're acting and if yeah. it's a specific type of acting or if you just want to explore go to school for that like for mm. me, I also do stage combat, which, uh, yeah, I th did. Did you go there two miles? Yeah, or... I did one class. Yeah. I did the I did the vocal vocal combat workshop. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to do the sword fighting and whatever, but it's so yeah. expensive. I haven't got the money. It, it it is pricey. Like I I go to a place called uh, Rapier Wit, and Rapier is the sword. Just yes, my guys, because um, I, I get a lot of people look at me horrified. <laughs> uh, and and that's that's another form of acting where you you fight with blades but you're also telling a story mm -hmm. um so i would say it's up to you guys uh, for me as a as an artist i found the school was what i needed to give myself permission to feel confident to be a, a performer yes yeah and it was only until i left school that i kind of started really getting into i think my own groove mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, I don't know. Was, if, I don't know if that was a good answer. No, no, I, no. I think I. I mean, <laughs> yeah. every. It, I think every actor has their own take on it, which is why I always yeah. like asking about it. You know, um, I had I had Reed Diamond on yesterday, and he went to mm. Juilliard for 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 acting. Um, but his his take is so so completely different. You know, he's he's mm. uh, he's very much kind of like you in in that it's it's more about, you know, if yeah. that's if that's your drive, you know, rather than like oh maybe I'll try drama school that kind of thing. You know, yeah. for me it was like. I wanted to go to drama school. I tried once to get in. They all said no. And there was a guy next to me that had been trying to get in for six years. I went, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and yeah. try something else. 
Um, but it's interesting that um, I, I, I was watching uh, Game Grumps yesterday. Oh no. Yeah. Um and uh and Aaron uh, it's he's playing he's playing Sonic Heroes they're playing Sonic Heroes at the moment yeah. which holy crap that game, um but he talked about how he uh how he have you seen have you seen Aaron's sequelitis videos on YouTube, Aaron Hansen yeah. Ego Raptor yeah. Uh, yeah I've seen them yeah in fact there's a sequelitis reference in the Dust game I love that okay wonderful. Nice. Um, so he said that like he's had a lot of people that are doing video essays in in on YouTube now that mm -hmm. that had sequelitis as an inspiration for them that kind of showed them how to do um, video essays that aren't like the nerd writer right. kind of stuff, right? And his his point was that like half of the battle is that people that do these video kind of kind of video essays and 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 kind of are trying to use their voice as a way of. Mm -hmm existing in in the digital space um need to take acting lessons because it's they because they don't they think that it's very much you just read what's on the screen and oh, yeah. that's it yeah. and that and that that one of the main things for him is that the the it regardless of anything else even if you don't want to be an actor taking mm -hmm. acting lessons is is a really good um Definitely. A, a good a good lesson for you in terms of like just just being yourself and getting your finding your own voice and i wondered whether for you guys less so for you but more for more for you dev in like how you found your voice going through from starting from newgrounds with the scripts you know the, th the 13 year old scripts because i imagine for you julius they kind of taught you at school how to find your voice right uh no <laughs> no oh okay all right so no, then that's yeah, even better right, yeah. so how how did yeah. you guys find find your voice and find your <laughs> you know like oh this is this is me dev uh, your turn yeah yeah well, you I, go first I say, uh, i'm the first victim mm -hmm. uh i can say for me personally because i did not have the sort of acting foundation that i wish that i had mm -hmm. i'd only got maybe like a couple years of high school drama class before mm -hmm. i had my first tv show that mm. was pretty much it I, i'd never even done a, an actual school play i'd wow. just done that wow um and and part of why i always shied so much away from that side of things is i was a, i have been and still am a, a, a very very shy kid being judged on my appearance mm. kind of freaks me out to an extent mm. so, and and i hate i hate 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 memorizing lines that yeah. too <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but but what I learned uh, really, really fast on Newgrounds, again, there were not really any standards. Uh, mm -hmm. But when it comes to being able to work in a professional setting, it's not just about being able to do a million voices or having a really, really cool voice. Mm. I, I, I've, I've met people. I've had people audition for me who, you know, they sound like this really, really tough sort of soldier guy. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. wow, your voice is so cool. But can you act with it? Mm -hmm. And I'll give them a note, like, okay, so you've got that tough sh that tough soldier. How would he talk to uh, a little kid who's scared in in uh, their parents have been killed, and you need to comfort them and let them know everything's gonna be okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, sure, I can do that. Don't worry, kid. Everything's <laughs> gonna be okay. I'm like, <laughs> wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. Uh, so having that, having that foundation, knowing how to layer everything, knowing how to take every single voice and yeah. and make it interesting. Mm. Can you take a cartoony voice and and make somebody uh, have that character be so leveled and 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 developed mm. and that you can make somebody cry with that same funny voice? Yes. Uh, can you take the the big intense guy and make him very sympathetic and, mm. and sad? Yeah, I mean, people feel pity. Yeah, you well, it makes it makes them a, you know it makes them a, a re, you know you can relate to them regardless of the voice if they're if they're well rounded and fleshed out characters, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um. And and Julius, how did you kind of uh find that yeah. that kind of I, what was your path to finding your yeah. voice? Well, I I would say a lot of it was life experience, where when you go mm -hmm. to school, you you kind of assume these grades will define you finding your voice but a lot of it is like for me it was like once you get your heart broken not to i'm not going into details but once you get your heart broken you can kind of start realizing every connection you have in real life these the subtext of it and 
the intention and when you're like, hey, I actually want to I, I want to show that I care without maybe saying the exact words. That's the same thing of what we're doing in acting all the time, especially mm -hmm. in voice. You could be a dragon, a rock monster, you could be anything, but if you don't reach the audience and you don't reach your partner, then you're not you're not you don't have your voice. Yeah. And I think that's what helped me and uh, like really start understanding myself and understanding how I can use myself and, and not be ashamed of myself to play these characters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And did, did you guys have like idols coming into the, like who, who you, who you like voice acting idols? Billy West. Um, oh yeah. Billy West. <laughs> Oof, mate. <laughs> Billy West. Uh, just for people that don't know who Billy West is, who's Billy West? What, 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 yeah. what kind of people would Billy West be known for? Um, okay, so if you know Fry from uh, Futurama, or The Professor, or Zap Brannigan, mm -hmm. or Zoidberg, that's all Billy West. Mm -hmm. He, he was Bugs Bunny in Space Jam. He was also he Bugs Bunny in Space Jam. Which can, can you believe? Sorry, can we? Can we? Are we? How do we feel on the on the the Space Jam sequel? I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a LeBron James guy. Yes. But I'll watch it. Yeah. I'll reluctantly watch it. Yeah. yeah, it's for the it's for the voice acting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, God, yeah. no, Billy West is incredible. Uh, yeah, Dev, what is. about you? Do you have a uh, any 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 people that you looked up to coming into it? Have you been lucky enough to oh, work with any of them? My gosh, mm -hmm. um, I kind of kind of have. Uh, I would definitely say a major one for me was the cast of the Samurai Pizza Cats. It was nice. discovering uh, the voice demo of Rick Jones, who voiced uh, the lead character in that show, yes. is what had me be like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yes. What? Um, Pokemon was also a big one for me as well. Yeah. Uh, the very first character voice that I learned to imitate was... Um, Maddie Blaustein, the late great Maddie Blaustein, who did uh, the voice of Meowth from Team Rocket. I'm gonna capture that Pikachu. <laughs> Incredible. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, if the, the, I, honestly, I, I could be on all day. Uh, Scott McNeil from from Beast Wars did the voice oh, yeah. of of Silverbolt and Waspinator yes. and Rat Trap and Dinobot. So oh uh, God. That so rat trap voice is incredible. I love that rat trap oh. voice. It's it's like it's stuck in my head even to this day. Is that rat trap voice? Oh, uh, I, yeah. I loved to hate rat trap because I was a Dinobot guy, but uh, uh, of you were. Scott Scott <laughs> is in the court. Uh, can we can we just can we just mention? I I was thinking about this today in Pokemon, because I was thinking about like anime and stuff like that. Because I'm gonna I was gonna be talking to you. Uh, oh, Anna Sani's in the chat. Hi, Anna. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, um, my sister. Yeah, can we can we just right. uh, can we just approach that that Pokemon the anime uh literally did Whiplash, the movie, but way way earlier than Whiplash. Do, am I the only one that remembers this episode <laughs> Wait, where the guy I has the whip Whiplash. and he train he's like really aggressively? Oh, you mean like, I have to show this off, by the way. Oh, yeah. he's got a team roll. Nice. There we go. There you go. Um, no, the the there's there's an episode, yeah. uh, the, there's an episode of 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 Pokemon where they like find a guy that's like aggressively training the Pokemon with a whip. Was and it like, true? Yeah, oh. with the sand true. And, oh! like, and they're all like, they're all like, oh, we've got to. Th this is terrible. We can't. Be, they can't be treating the Pokemon like this. Yeah, and like, that. and then it, they like release them, and they're like, no, I'm fine. I just want. I I enjoy being whipped. And it's like. It's literally Whiplash. It's it's Whiplash, but Pokemon, and no one's talking about this. It, <laughs> it came into my head today in the shower. I'm like, that's crazy. No, just well, me. Well, all right, okay, all right. No, no. All right. Well, you you obviously need to do a webinar about this and do a <laughs> video essay, and just literally do the parallels and let people's mind get blown. I mean, seriously, yeah. it's yeah. it's bizarre. It's bizarre that 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 no one's can. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I've just revealed. Was, was the whipper also like a bald dude? Like a and, and he was no, like, he was like a oh, okay. he was like um, sand shrew and all that kind of stuff. He had all this really kind of shrill southern accent. He sounded like yeah. uh, he kind of sounded like one of the shrill um, uh, swamp benders on Avatar. Yeah. And he was just, you know like he had that kind of very deep south drawl, but then like he oh. just whipped the. Oh, okay, I don't know. I'm I'm get, I'm going into the into the weeds a little bit. Um, I feel like they had a few characters like this because I I know there was a trainer who had 
I think like a, a Charmander or something like that, and he was like really kind of abusive to him. Yes. They gave him like a, a Cockney accent, so I'm like, hey, Charmander, been looking all yes! over. I'm so sorry, Miles. Yes. No, that's exactly what he sounded like. <laughs> No, legit. And it's uh, like, why, why, why are there random Eng But like, that's the only time that yeah. the, like, f to, and this is me growing up with the show. I can't remember any other time in the show where like yeah, punishment, rain, like being like aggressive towards the Pokemon was seen as a good thing in that episode. It was like, they were literally like, he was whipping them in like a go faster, do better. And they were okay with it. Wow. And they were like, oh, well, I guess that works for people. And then every other episode is like, oh, the poor Charmander got left in the rain. Oh, no. What a pat. Like, the English guy's a dick. What a surprise. You know, that kind of thing. Because, of course, he is. I don't know. Like, it's. it's, it's I, I love that show. That was like. That was my anime growing up. I missed the boat on uh, 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 Dragon Ball Z. I missed. Uh, what's that? Sorry, Dev? James is actually a really good trainer. Does he count as English? No. No, I don't no? think he counts as. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even. I, I, was that even brought up? Was I, that even brought up in the show where I he's mean, from? Like, I is mean, there I even mean, an England in Pokemon? They never explicitly said there is an England-like place in in Pokemon Sword and Shield, yeah. but not called England. But James sounded vaguely kind of British sometimes. I don't know. He sounded like a Pegasus. You know, he like did kind, kind of sound of, like Pegasus. Mm, legit. Right. Like you know what um, I mean? Yeah. Uh, can I? Sorry, I have to take another aside because yeah. Anasani, holy crap! Anasani just donated two hundred dollars to the stream. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Anasani, Anna. you Anna. absolute genius girl! Oh my god! Uh, can, thank can I you. also say? Yes. Sorry. How talented Anna is! Like I, I met Anna at a workshop, and already I knew, like this person was the most talented person in the room. It was I agree. Crazy. I and agree. she's, she's on Mythicon. Amazing, yeah. Yes. And Bakugan family. Yeah. Yes, he's Bakugan family. Thank you so much for the yeah. donation. We're we're almost Love at like yeah. we're nearly You're we're nearly awesome. at twenty five hundred. That's crazy. Wow. Um so let's get ones in the chat for for, oh. for Anna. Also go follow her on Twitch because she does Twitch streaming now, guys. Yeah. Uh yeah. Twisted Doll fourteen is Anna Sani. She is mm -hmm. a, a voice actor, friend of Devin and friend of Julian, and she's she's mm -hmm. wonderful. So thank you so much for that donation. That's incredible. Um, I got a response to Rob exists there. Uh, James was a great trainer to every Pokemon except Magikarp because the rest of them, they followed him willingly. He didn't even have to catch them. They just were like, oh, you're cool. We're hanging out now. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I, I love that. No, I, I love all those kind of like, do you think it's like just a trope of, of anime? Is that or like, talk about like, who are your favorite characters from anime? Like for me, like uh, for yeah. for me, I think I think I love Pegasus. I think I think yeah. he's just like <laughs> so over the top that he's just like. I mean, I you know he's he's such a standout character. Um, and then like, would you would you cosplay as Pegasus someday, Miles? I feel uh, like you would you'd be good. I think I could pull that off. I could pull off right? a Pegasus co Pegasus yeah. cosplay. Um, yeah, I think Oh god, now you got my mind turning. Um yeah, no, I, I could totally do that. Um but like who who are the kind of characters that you liked growing? Like what what was your show growing up? Was it like I don't know, Dev seems like he might have kind of been into into Sailor Moon. I don't know. Something about him. I can't say. Yeah. <laughs> what is he, he looked like a tuxedo mask kind about of guy. Me. <laughs> I see you throwing roses at oh. people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Did you have, have a, did you a, have an anime growing up? Was it just like any kind of animation? Uh I would say I was not really a huge anime guy outside of like the the typical ones, uh Pokémon, Digimon and um Dragon Ball, a little bit of Gundam Wing. Um mm. if I would say my my two favorites uh going over to Dragon Ball for a bit. Yes. And also kind of uh, socially relevant right now. Um, one guy that I resonated with the most was Piccolo. Nice. Yeah. And it's, yeah. he, he kind of felt like his his racial identity, he obviously very much stood out from, from just about everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, and again, him, him kind of knowing that he was from somewhere else 
uh, knowing that he's from the planet Namek, but he doesn't really understand the culture or or the history there. That's kind of like his motherland. Yeah. And when he finally gets to go there for the first time, he feels like, oh my gosh, it's like there's here's this home that I've never known. Uh, I'm learning up so much about like my people. I've never seen this many people like me anywhere before. Yeah. That was a really really cool thing that connected with me a lot. Yeah. Um. And he's such a cool character, character in general, you know. Like he's, oh my he's, he's such yes. he's just got so so much growth from the beginning of the show to like the end, you know. Absolutely, yeah. I, I I always kind of connect with those those characters who sort of start out as as villainous and then you kind of learn they learn about themselves mm. and we learn about them at yeah. the same time and they, and they grow and they change and their perspective in life changes. I love stuff like that. Yeah. Another character who has that kind of change. Going over to Digimon again, uh, Ken Ichijoji, the Digimon yeah. Emperor. Yes, I was just about to bring him up. Yes, guy. yeah. That's. I mean, he has great growth as well, and like even mm. uh, the the um, uh, uh, Zuko in in Airbender is one of my favorite oh, yeah. characters. Oh, yeah. um, you know, mm -hmm. Dante Basco is. By the way, Dante Basco is raising money for uh, fr yeah, frontline workers on, on Twitch. All they're right. doing they're doing yeah. watch-alongs on on his channel on Twitch every every. I think it's every couple of days. He he and he brings in uh, people that directed the episode that they're watching, oh, nice. um, that kind of thing to raise money for for that kind of stuff. So that's 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 always kind of a good cause as well. What about you, Julius? Who was who was your kind of uh, um. go to for anime? Well, like for me, again, or animation it's, it's, in general. For, yeah, um, I think for me it was like Martin Mystery. I don't know if you guys remember that show. Wow, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I do remember that show. That I didn't show. know. Oh, I didn't know anybody Martin who watched Mystery. it. But I remember it. Yeah, this is why we're friends, man. Because we have secret things <laughs> that we don't tell each other yet. Oh my and god! It's just, Oops. We just un unveil later as we go. <laughs> wow. But yeah, Martin Mystery was was kind of one of those shows that was like kind of incredibly canadian too but it it was just one of those where you had such a weird diverse group of people in it um, yeah you know it's, it's kind of like why i i always gravitate towards like sci-fi kind of kind of stuff like digimon as well where you see these people be friends with their digimon partners and like actually these bonds are are so strong like i still mm. remember i don't know if you guys remember the first season of digimon or agumon like Digivolved into a skeleton, Greymon. Yeah, because he was and just like, trying to be—he was just trying to make his friend that. happy so much. Yeah, and Ty was like weeping because he's like, "I didn't want this." Yeah, <laughs> and, not, like, and, this. Yeah. not yeah. like this. Not like this. Not like this. Yeah, and it—it it, it just like resonated with me as a kid to be like, "Wow, these are really like impactful character moments," and like I'm I'm six and I'm just like, "I, I want a Digimon partner now." Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. For me, it's, it was for me it was Thundercats. I grew up with Thundercats because oh, I'm nice. old. Oh. <laughs> so like Thundercats was okay. like was like the thing for me that I absolutely nice. lost my mind for. I haven't watched the reboot or the the soft reboot, oh, um, right. which they I think I actually got really good. Apparently, like it was really it was re really well well received in the com in the in the large in the large Thundercat fan base that exists. Um, the 2011 one. Yes. Yes, the 2011 I one. Watched, I, I felt like the, the first couple episodes were absolutely amazing. Mm. Um, the, the animation was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think my problem with the show, even though it was still really solid, they mm. kind of quickly fell into this trap of uh, everything is always about Lionel whining and complaining and getting his way all the time. Right. Um, and right, right, right. he kind of learns a lesson that he forgets the next episode and most of Chitara's lines would end up being, look out, Lionel! <laughs> and, 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 and look over you kind of need to do yeah. a little more than that. But it had a lot of potential for sure. I, I wish it got more more coverage and more attention than it did either way. Yes, um, I agree. And I think there's... I, I was going to ask you, because as like kind of winding up a little bit, um, uh, I think a lot of people in the chat might not uh, be as into animation as an art form. I found, I found a lot of people, um, when I do my lives and I try and talk about... Think, you know, people are like, I've run out of things to watch during mm. quarantine and i think that i think the animation kind of gets a bad rap because people grow up yeah. with with animation and so they feel like well there's nothing for me now that was what i was watching when i was a kid 
Um, mm. And and so I, I like. It, I'm trying to I'm trying to phrase this question correctly, but like, what do you think? is like why do you think animation gets a bad rap from people do you think it's just that that people don't have that association of like because it's also cultural as well in the uk animation is very much just children's television on a saturday morning mm -hmm. kind of thing and that's slowly moving away now and then you know in in japan and and what have you it's way it's way more you know um broad in its audience so do you think right. it's just why do you think that the animation doesn't get as as adopted as quickly in the West as it does in 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 like Japan and stuff like that for 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 older audiences specifically? Well, I I think it's it's just because of exposure. Like mm -hmm. we we only have so few adult cartoons that adults would gravitate towards. You like we you know the first one is Rick and Morty or yes. Archer. Yeah. And we also get like there's there's so many cartoons now that all ages can enjoy and mm -hmm. i think it's important messages that when you're older you have you can actually enjoy like i would say steven universe is for all ages yes mm -hmm. uh, yeah I, I i'm not too sure i think it's just somebody like people just need to give it a chance and mm -hmm. yeah, some of it is just people who love animation or love anime try and get other people into it and i just love like most of the time the community or the the person who's like at first not interested suddenly gets absorbed into it I have a friend who talks to me nonstop about One Piece, and he's never watched any other anime except One Piece. Like he's, <laughs> and I don't watch One Piece, so I'm like, all right, but you're, yeah. you're like, you're 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 a beautiful butterfly right now in <laughs> anime. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's hard, but I think I think we are slowly getting to a place where people are more accepting of it. Like especially if you're on mm -hmm. Netflix, you'll see so many cartoons <laughs> that gravitate towards adults as well not not like just adults but kids and adults like we got mm -hmm. she-ra the avatar mm. like, is, is out now finally oh and, like, thank god i mean may yeah. i i mainlined avatar again recently yeah, right. god that show such is show. such yeah. incre such incredible uh it, cast and crew and everything yeah. on that show exactly and, i think and I you'll think find a lot more place. mature storylines and and um yeah. and writing there than you'll find in a lot of so-called adult shows yes i agree yeah, absolutely. I think some of, some of my favorite shows are are animated, but not because of. I think like, you know, Young Justice season one of Young oh, Justice, ph buddy, phenomenal yes. writing. Yes. Avatar, phenomenal writing. The Castlevania on Netflix. I mean, oh, if you yeah. haven't if you haven't watched that yet, I mean, it's definitely adult. Um, yeah. But then also like, I, I think there's just, uh, I think there just needs to be more more. And this is just me not even asking you a question now, but just like there just needs to be more like acceptance that the animation. I think Rick and Morty helped a lot. I think, in that it kind of it kind so. of showed it showed teenagers that yeah, there's stuff out there for you that that is not for mm -hmm. babies. Yeah, but what's I mean, like, Adult like, Swim as a whole is kind of leading the charge. Yeah, for, no, for yes, that. yes, a lot absolutely. Of ADHD kind of stuff. Well, yeah. yeah, and I think uh, yeah, like Aqua Teen Hunger Force and things like that paved oh the God, way. Yes. You know, they kind yeah. of paved the way for for shows to. Like the Harley Quinn show on on DC Universe, amazing, yeah, incredible, so incredible work. Yeah. And it, and again, it's it's not for not for kids, you know. Um, wonderful. Uh, sorry to end on a random note, but the, uh, that that's kind of that's that's been great. Um, what are you guys working on right now? What what is there stuff that you can plug? Uh, yep. Apart from obviously, <laughs> apart from obviously <laughs> being in quarantine. <laughs> um uh so we've got uh bakugan that we've mm -hmm. still been recording from home which is nice been, it's very Amazing. very unique uh interesting experience it's a joy uh, yes <laughs> and anna knows who, how that is too uh yes. it, would, it would be cool i don't know if we have do we have time to get anna in on we here do or? i'm just i'm just talking to her now she's gonna come join us in okay. a second yes oh, fantastic hang on, hang on i'm gonna try and uh Hang on. Uh, you just oh, keep talking and pretend I'm paying attention yeah. for a second. Sure, I will. Sure. I, I will keep talking. Yes, uh, sure. I've been playing chef in uh, Total Drama Rama, so yeah, yeah. that's me doing a big angry voice and a lot of screaming at stupid kids all day. Mm -hmm. um, been doing that. <laughs> I've uh, 
Uh, the one video game that that I am in that uh, Anna is also in uh, yeah, yeah. called Dragalia Lost. That's a uh, free download on on mobile mm. where I, uh, I play the the character named uh, Durant, sort of edgy guy who hangs out with wolves and uh, the disease ridden boss Volk the Plague Bringer. <laughs> Yo, that's got to be a uh, tough one on the chords. Holy crap! Uh, that's the interesting thing with that. Uh, and, and another key thing for people who do want to get into to voice acting, um, that is actually not a voice that hurts me to maintain for a long time. Yeah. Because I have a certain, I have a certain way of breathing where that voice is completely supported with air. I could probably do that for for hours on end. Wow. As long as it's the like the most intense level of screaming, I could keep yeah. that up. Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, it's like the vocal combat. Um, uh, vocal combat. The, yes. Dark. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that's it's all training and 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 mm-hmm. practice and what have you. Anna's supposed to be joining us. I don't know where she is now. I can't I can't get out of the call without bringing her in. Anna, just join us in the bloody room for God's sake. <laughs> oh, she could give me five minutes. Okay, jeez. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Now we gotta stall the stream until she. Di- we do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All she right. doesn't know how to use. Why does no one know how to use okay. Discord? Okay. Nobody, nobody gave a tutorial. We just had to, we just downloaded it and was like, "All right, uh, am I um, calling anyone?" Yeah, exactly. It's a new, it's a new update, man. Um, yeah. People are oh oh people know Total Drama Rama. There you go. Yeah. Oh. And Draga- okay. Dragalia. Draga- am I saying that wrong? I'm saying that wrong, aren't I? Dragalia. Dragalia. Uh, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think anybody knows for sure. One of those. Dragalia lost. Dragalia lost. Dragalia. Dragalia. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that one uh so we, me and anna both recorded for that like months and months and months ago our characters are already out but what i've kind of been doing for fun as a little quarantine project is i've been taking the official comics that are in the game mm. and just reaching out to some of the actors being like hey do you want to put voices to this just for fun yeah let's do it and uh yeah i've been posting some of those on twitter and on youtube that's been my little my fun little project. Oh, well, that's great. That, yeah. That's mm. been keeping you uh, occupied. Yeah, well, it's also giving me the opportunity to uh, interact with a lot of people that I've just never talked to or never gotten to meet before. Yeah, yeah. And, and realizing that some of them actually go back to the Newgrounds days with me. And really? I just never interacted with them before. Yeah. Wow. It, um, oh. Mm-hmm. Do we have Anna Sani? Anna Sani, yeah. turn, Hello! The, turn the stream off. I'm sorry. Off. I know. God, I'm so annoying. <laughs> That's on, why I we gotta, love you. Though. Oh my yeah. God. I got to fix I this now. It she's not I in the it out. She's not in the thing. I got to <gasps> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, hey hang on. Hey. Now I got I to gotta fix this now. Hang on. One second. Because now you've taken over Julius's spot. Oh That's hang okay. On. No, it's not. Shut up. Hang on. No, it's, fine. no, it's really not. Hang I just on. kind of oh, wait, crashed I, oh. this. There we go. Now we got you. Now we got you. There I we was go. like running around. I was like, oh no, right now. Yeah, because we're live, Anna. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, god. take a picture of this. It's so beautiful. Okay. The whole family's here. What matters is that you're here. here. Oh my god. Oh. So Anna, how are you the doing, buck, my love? Buck, thank you for thank you for the huge donation, by the way. No, thank you for doing this for an amazing cause. I am so happy that this is happening. And yeah. I get to chill with Dev, Julius, you. It doesn't yeah. get any better. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. I'm not looking at you, by the way. I'm just my hands here. And... <laughs> That's fine. That's totally fine. You just gotta pretend, you gotta you just gotta pretend you gotta look down the barrel and pretend that you can see us. It's fine. Just pre- right. just look out of the yeah. corner of your eye. It's, it's, it's. I see you all. I see you all. Indeed, indeed. Um. So okay. So you're you get all the focus now, unfortunately, because you're new to the stream. So um, oh, so so introduce yourself. How would how do we know you? How do, how who are you and why? And why? <laughs> yes. Um. Hello. My name is Anna. I was. I am born on this earth for one reason only. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, I am a voice actor. I have been in a lot of shows with Julius and Deb. I'm also a streamer. I've been really bad at streaming lately, but I am a streamer. I'm on, I'm Twisted Doll 14. And what else? Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh yeah. we got the reflection, Dev. We got the reflection. We can't oh, see it. I so know, that... you can see kind of a little bit. It's no, getting brighter. Brighter. It's getting, yeah, the white balance <laughs> no, is getting worse no, and worse. Yeah, go worth. 
Uh, so, so, so we would know you from Mysticons? Yes, you'd know me from Mysticon. I'm on the Nickelodeon show Ollie's mm -hmm. Um I'm on Bakugan. Yeah, I was also yeah. on Dragalia Lost. Mm -hmm. uh, Is it Dragalia yeah. Lost or Dragalia Lost? We, we were deciding <laughs> this a minute ago. Mm. Let's go with Dragalia. <laughs> um, potato, potato? I don't know. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Wonderful. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you for joining us. This has been lo it's, it's I lovely so having you. I am so happy to be here. Thank and again, you thank you for the donation. Um, so, this so how did you? How, yeah, guys, uh, uh, Dev, Julius, help me, help me ask questions because I've already asked the questions that I had. So now we got, we just got to grill, we got to grill Anna with questions now. <laughs> Can we play the game instead? Yeah. I don't like questions. <laughs> well, no. Okay. How about, okay. We, we ask you a question. You ask us a question, and then we. Yeah. Just good hand. idea. That's a good idea. That's awesome. Know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Let's not get too personal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was one of the coolest characters you got the voice? Let's go good. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, good question. That's a really, that's a great question. Um, yes. um, well, okay. Mysticons was really huge for me because it was kind of my foray into the professional realm of voice acting. Like mm. I had done a lot of like smaller things here and there, but this was like the big broadcast show which was really exciting and mm. and piper actually was one of my one of my favorite characters to voice because she's really hyper and sporadic and all over the place so i got to let loose with her and they even let me ad libs and stuff and i had nice. my own kind of vocabulary that they let me just play around with and um as the episodes continued the writers actually wrote for my voice i don't know if you guys ever had that but it is like the coolest thing because you realize like like you're like oh I, they literally know how i sound they literally know how <laughs> that's <laughs> i can kinda, say this yeah that's kind of what they did with with my character on tns they kind of just went oh oh he's english okay cool let's just throw all of the english <laughs> words in as much as possible i think right. i i think i say toodle pip at one point that they may have cut but... oh. Oh. Yeah. Toodle pip. <laughs> The, I would the give closest that, thing man. that I've got, I, I've I've got like a couple characters where they just let me kind of do whatever. Uh, yes. I've I've been doing a bit of that with with Bakugan, where I get to throw in a "What are you doing, bruh?" with Winston mm -hmm. every now and then. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I think my favorite one, the closest thing that I have to them writing for me, was uh, on an episode of Wish Fart. My character was uh, Des was supposed to whistle, and I'm like, dude, like I I I can't whistle. So when I read the line, I'm supposed to like be calling some ants to to go attack someone. I'm supposed to do like the finger in the mouth thing. And, yes, yes, and yes. And I go, like, I go like, all right, guys, let's go. <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> and, they kept, and they kept that take, and they used it in the show. Nice. And not only Love that, that, they had they had future episodes where he just shows up and he's he's walking down the street just going. <sighs> <laughs> like I love, I love them. It. I love Wait, this show. It? <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, I love when you when you're with a team that allows you to have that kind of. Uh, freedom and it's more yeah. collaboration than you've been like Absolutely. coming in as a contractor. That's that's so wonderful to have. Yeah. Um, so true. Yeah, and uh, something that I want to ask, seen as seen as I have like, um, all of you here. Uh, as as people of color in the voice industry, and let's let's get let's get really serious. Let's get really serious Wait, for a right. second. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, like how how have you how have you found it starting? Have you se have you seen changes in the industry going forward? Has it gotten better? Is it getting better than it was when you started, etc.? What 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 is your what has your experience been? Anna, Anna, oh. you're new, so you get to go first. <laughs> yep. Um. Honestly, it's been awesome. Um, mm. and, you know, when I first came into this business, the 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 roles were few and far in between when it came to um, casting people of color. Mm. And now they've kind of hunkered down on getting matching the ethnicity with the the character. And um, it's been it's been awesome because. I feel like it's just given us more opportunity. You know what? I think um, I just, oh my gosh, I'm like nervous. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, 
yeah, I just, I just think it's been a really great experience. Like I've, I've had, I don't know about you guys, but I've had a bunch of roles that have come in for South, South Asian characters. Mm. Um, and yeah. How long have you been in the industry before, uh, with voice acting specifically? I've been voice acting for eight years now. Eight years. Wow. That's great. And yeah. Dev, Dev, how's, how's it been for you? Uh, you know what? I've got a pretty long answer to this. So, okay, Julius, you, you want to go now? <laughs> okay, Julius, yeah. yes. Okay, <laughs> Julius, how have you found Thanks. it? Thanks. I Well, I, I found it was very freeing because, uh, like I mentioned, when I went into theater school, I, I was the only Asian guy in the whole program, so mm -hmm. they didn't really know what to do with me. Mm -hmm. And voice acting was kind of my way of breaking those barriers and able to audition for anything. Mm -hmm. um, I think what's... What was strange was coming to Toronto, there weren't actually a lot of Chinese voice actors that I could look to. So mm. I, I don't I actually don't really know that many besides myself, except maybe Jeff Young, who's also on Bakugan mm -hmm. and Jonathan Kim, who's now on Bakugan as well. Right. Um, good friends of mine. Mm. Um, but what's what's kind of interesting, what, what's nice uh, to go along with Anna is like being a person of color, you do feel the sense of respect from casting directors and directors and writers because now they have these characters who they know they want the authentic voice coming from that mm -hmm. and we can like i don't do it often but we can walk in and actually just kind of had have a, a nice discussion about figuring out how this character would would be and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, right really hemp like getting yeah. the authenticity down right mm -hmm. yeah right and then there right. are moments where like i i don't know i i absolutely love this plug uh i voiced a japanese sandwich samurai <laughs> who's also a part scorpion on Hell I saw that. I saw it yeah. as well. I love that. I my favorite character of all time. His name so, is so Sammy can you, Bry. Yeah, can you just can you just reiterate what this character is, just in case people in the right, chat sorry. miss that? Give us the line too. Yes. Oh yeah. Sure. So um, okay, first, imagine a subway sandwich spliced itself with a scorpion and has the attitude of a samurai, <laughs> and his name is Sammy Rai, and his voice is here. Is he rye like, bread oh. as well? I, I, th I, he definitely is. I think so. <laughs> but those who eat without honor, go hungry, like things like that, which I love. And it, it was nice to, to kind of go into the room and, and not feel, I, like, not, not feel like, oh, I have to do an amazing. It was more of just like, cool, we're a collaboration, and let's, let's figure out how to do this character without yeah. really being overly offensive or something. Yeah. Like that. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. God, that's yeah. so good. I, that's really, really good. I, and what, what's nice is I'm able to now voice people of all, well, like, white people, which is kind of kind of a gift for a person of color. Absolutely. Like, on a Paw Patrol, my character Lionel Lightspeed is a ginger kid. And the first time I saw him, I'm like, hey. I'm a ginger. This is great. And it, nothing changes in the voice. But it's no. just like, I'm really nice. glad. Ginger yeah. bros. Right? Yes. Ginger bros. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wish for it. He's a ginger, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, it's, it's that beautiful gift of, like, this well this isn't limiting anymore it's like i can if i have the voice that matches the character mm. great yeah 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 it's way more about the personality that you bring to it rather than rather than anything yeah. else right exactly um yeah. uh mac what you 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 have your soapbox oh. now go for it okay uh <laughs> I get, I get so <laughs> yes. for me <laughs> yes there has been good and there has been bad mm. i have seen things start to change for the better in some regards, but um, to go back to how things all started for me and how I was able, this is how you know it's gonna be long. No, uh, dude, no, that's this uh, is great. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, my my first show. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, again. sorry, sorry. Hang on, can I? Sorry, we we got a we got a twenty. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to, to pause you. We go got a twenty dollar donation. So thank you, Ali, for the twenty dollars donation. I really appreciate it. Twenty dollars. So color of change for it. $2,257 to Color of Change. Guys, Black Lives Matter. Okay, Dev, go for it. Go. All right. Um, so this all started uh, me, again, doing this stuff on, on Newgrounds online. This was before social media had really taken off. Mm -hmm. So nobody really knew what anybody looked like. And, and it was great. Again, I was, I was auditioning for everybody, was auditioning for whatever they, they wanted to do. Uh, people were getting cast purely off of what they sounded like yes uh how, how good their acting was and that i think should be the ideal yes uh in the tv <laughs> professional world not 
quite mm, like that. Yes. Now, what, what was cool about the first show uh, that I got, Grossology, I was auditioning for the the science lab kind of nerd kid who had the the nickname of of Lab Rat. Mm -hmm. And I saw a kind of old design for him online, and he looked like the stereotypical geeky lab nerd. I'd come up with this voice for him that was going to be uh, kind of sounding like Otacon from, from Metal Gear Solid. Nice. And uh, nice. So, so I'm going in, ready to, to do that whole kind of voice. And, and I do my first take. And um, the animation director, great dude, Matt Ferguson, who I also worked with on uh, Mr. Cons of the Day My Butt Went Psycho. Love that guy. Uh, he says to me, hey, you know what? What if you did a voice that's just kind of a little bit more you? Not not so much that sort of put on sort of thing where you're trying to sound like that typical geek character. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking like, I, but, but I, I saw with the character. The character doesn't look like this guy. He yeah. looks more like... Nuh, nuh, nuh. And he sorry, said, sorry, well, he looks you know, like what? Sorry? He looks more like... <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> one more time for a fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he says, "Well, it's it's animation. We might change the character design based on what you do." So I'm like, "Oh, okay. All right, guys. If we analyze the snot from this from this person, we might be able to find out who's trying to pour boogers all over all over the entire city." And I'm like, "They're not gonna go for that." And then they went for that. Awesome. Uh, and, and then Great. so I, I, I do a few recording sessions and they show me the character design and suddenly the character looks like me. <laughs> and right. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Right. That's that's awesome. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. Um, again, um, and I, I think what, what also helped me out a little bit was they realized, oh, we don't actually have any black people in the show <laughs> thus far. <laughs> so, hey, this guy's giving us an entertaining performance. Why don't we design a character around this? Right. <laughs> which, which which worked for me. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Um, I find a lot of the issues that can happen, though, and, and, and definitely occurred with, with me on, on other shows, is the naive presumption that people would look at me and expect me to sound a certain way mm -hmm. and would only be giving me auditions based on that there right. was even an instance of me playing a black character and then they would be they would be usually keeping all the same actors at the end of the show they'd record just crowd scenes of extras just doing all kinds of different voices for whoever needs to just be walking around in the background right I was specifically pulled out of the booth while all, while all the other actors stayed because they just assumed, oh, any character he does is just, you know, every character is yeah. going to sound like this. Yeah. So he's going to stand out. So we got to take him out of there. That's yeah. so interesting. Wow. So, so that was a big thing for, in fact, the first seven years of my career, I was sitting home a lot of time just, just doing nothing for months on end because I would get maybe one audition every four or five months for the black guy. Yeah. And if the show didn't have a black teenager in it, then I wasn't auditioning. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And I was getting so frustrated because I was going back online, back to Newgrounds and back to YouTube where nobody knew what I looked like. Mm -hmm. And I had people there thinking that I was a white guy. I right. had people there thinking that I was like a 40 year old white guy because I was on there doing everything. And and it was getting so frustrating yeah. that I eventually, like I had to think like, is there no place for me in this industry? Am yeah. I never gonna be able to make a living? Is it always gonna be this way? Yeah. I mm. had to essentially go to my agency and 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 beg them like kind of like get mad it's like i know that i'm good at this mm -hmm. and i'm not even getting a chance to show it i i can't just keep waiting like you guys have got to do something for me and and, yeah. and fortunately uh between that and me sometimes i i would uh when i'd get auditions for the black character mm -hmm. i would look at the documents that were there and if i was able to i would steal audition documents for other characters and i'd read those too mm -hmm. just to be like hey let me do this i can do this mm -hmm. sometimes uh when i'd get the black character to read for and only the black character i would use whatever little ananos i'm going for oh, i yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
I thought I might have mentioned this before, maybe not. What I would do just to show them that I can do something else, uh, here's how I would slate the intro to my audition. Devin Mack reading for the big old black man. All right, y'all. Listen up. We got to come here and do the thing. Just to show them that I can do other stuff. It should have wow. had to come to that, but that's what I found myself literally having to do. Wow. And for anyone, sorry to cut you off, for anyone who doesn't yeah. know, going into an audition, taking other sides to read for another character is so risky very, in our very business. Risky. Very you do risky. not do that. <laughs> So that is bold. Like. Yes, yes, absolutely. And it shouldn't have to come yeah. down to you taking these huge kind of risks, you know? Yeah, but I figured I, I can't make a living doing what I'm doing now. So, you know, why not? Just just put it on the line, go for it, see what happens. And, yeah. you know, thank goodness they finally realized, um, oh, wow. Uh, when I did uh, in 2013, seven years into my career, uh, I got cast as the lead character in a show called uh, The Day My Butt Went Psycho, <laughs> also directed by Matt Ferguson again. And I played the white lead protagonist kid talking like this all the time. Yeah. And people were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know he could do that. Possible. Let's let him audition for everything now. My yes. mind is blown. What's happening? Yes. Yeah. And, and now, finally, I'm getting to do all the stuff I should have been able to read for from the start. Yeah. You know, I think but, because of those those risks and those things that happened, Mac, when when I came into the business, and I don't know about you, Julius, I felt like the change was already happening. Like I wasn't going out exclusively for South Asian. I like, yes, of course I was, mm. but I was also getting seen for other things as well. So mm. for me, it wasn't as stark of a a thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Which is something that I, I hope can become more widespread across the industry because that's what it should be. Um, unfortunately, it's been a big, big issue in anime for, for so many years where yeah. they've only been letting black actors and actresses read for the black characters there. And that's where it really sucks because they can't change any character designs based on the voice. Right. Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of non-Asian or non-white looking characters in anime to begin with. Yeah. So what yeah. Are you gonna do? yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, <clears throat> do you see? Do you see that? I mean, I know you've been very vocal um, on on Twitter and stuff like that um, mm -hmm. in terms of the way that the anime is being approached. Do you, do you see changes in in anime specifically? Do you think that that's it's starting to have an effect um, on the way that studios handle this kind of uh, behind behind the scenes stuff? Is it still? Do, do you think it's still a, a, a massive issue that that is not being addressed? I can say in the last three or so weeks with certain studios after certain things have been brought to their attention, yes. uh, there there yeah. are efforts that are being made. Mm. Uh, I hope that they can continue to make this a consistent thing as opposed to uh, we're just reacting to these current uh, yes. uncertain times we're in to appease people. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll see if that holds up in, in the long run, but... Um, Either way, it's good to see. And and Bakugan has been really, really good to all of us right right from the get-go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where right from the start, I had this character who legitimately looked like me as a kid growing up. Mm. Uh, they specifically tried to make sure they were auditioning people of color mm -hmm. to play these kinds of roles. Mm -hmm. And they're even letting us use uh, accents that I rarely, rarely get to hear mm. in anime. I got to play yeah. uh, a, a grandfather character using me kind of island accent that me have from my background. Mm -hmm. So we get to use a little bit of that. Mm. Um, my, my partner, uh, Trox, played by Cal Schillingford, kind of a, a similar situation with him. Uh, Trox is this big, giant T-Rex green monster guy. <laughs> and... and he went in thinking, oh, he's supposed to be very smart. I'm going to give him this this very kind of noble sort of voice. Mm. And our, our producer, Dave Beatty, a uh, great guy, says to him, hey, you know what? If you, Can you put maybe, do you want to put your own sort of spin on this? Do you have any any sort of any sort of background that you'd like to play into or any sort of accent that you could put on to help this character stand out? And he says, yeah, I'm, I'm, my background's from, um, the, from the Dominica island. So... Mm. Mm. He ends up doing doing this sort Love of it. unique accent. So you've you've got uh, Trox now. Sort of sounds like, hey, Winton, 
come mm. on, what are you doing? And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You never hear that. You never hear that. Yeah. You got another another character named uh, Ajit, who uh, is played by an, an Indian Canadian actor. Yes. And and I saw like a fan from Bangladesh like freaking out saying like oh my gosh uh, there's a desi brawler in bakugan <laughs> what the fuck? yes so yes and so sweet it's so cool for us to be on a show where like that kind of representation those kind of opportunities mm -hmm. to do those kinds of voices are being extended to people who rarely get to portray those kinds of characters or use that kind of sound yes absolutely Absolutely. Well, this is that, that's. I'm 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 so glad that there's there's been uh, a really supportive and and kind of welcoming um, production in town and and like it's Ooh. so it's so heartwarming that it's in Toronto and like of you know of all the places like Toronto seems to be like the the place that's really trying to push forward with that kind of stuff. Certainly, certainly in Absolutely. the certainly in the animation world, which is which is just great. Um, Mm -hmm. We're out of time, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We've we've gone over time because of someone coming in late. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, I am so sorry. It's totally fine. No, no, uh, no. I'm really sorry. Totally I, so I didn't realize that it was ending in like five minutes, and I was like, "Here I am." No, guys. no, no. It's I fine. I, I I have a I have extra time. I have extra time right now, luckily, because someone I, I someone think... else bailed out, and this was much better than the person I was going to have anyway. Oh. So it's great. Don't worry um but we we do have i have to move on because i have to get uh yes. ready for for other people uh julius yeah. cho dropped 100 dollars while you were talking <laughs> so thank you very much for the 100 dollars. we're now at 2300 dollars for color of change thank you julius it's very very kind of you um awesome. guys it's been wonderful um i hope to talk to you again soon and and thank uh you so much. and yeah, thank uh, you. anna Thanks i will be me. watching your stream as always <laughs> get streaming jesus i know come on. i have to do that yeah come on uh all right guys let's get once in the chat let's get once in the chat for oh, my lovely guest thank you very much for being here guys um oh wait hang on before we do it how, how can people find you on social media like what what are your handles so that they can follow you um on twitter i am anna sani 14 on instagram i am also anna sani 14 so that's a n a Yes, I'm gonna put, do, why don't you write them in the chat as well just so that people don't get lost yes. and uh uh julius what what's your what are your what's your handle he's gonna put the glasses on <laughs> oh you've you your mic's gone dude uh dev what's what's yours while julius screws around with the tech <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, yeah, we got you. Oh, there you go. Go, 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 Dev, go. <laughs> okay, go. Ah, Dev. you go. For it. Go for it. Um, sorry. Uh, Twitter, it's Julius Cho One, uh, okay. and Instagram, it's uh, Cho Julius Cho. Jo Cho Julius Cho, wonderful. Okay, yeah. and then Dev. Uh, for me, it is Devin O'Clock. That's D E V E N O C L O C K. Uh, that's my Instagram and my Twitter. Excellent, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, guys. You've, you, you've. I mean, I'm so grateful to have you here. Thank you. Um, and I hope to to speak to you soon. Thanks for letting me crash, guys. Oh, and Dev with the one, 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 one. Thank you. One hundred and eleven dollars and eleven cents. Thanks, buddy. One's in the chat and in the always, donations. Always gotta top me, bro. Like, wow. <laughs> sorry, um, Magnus. It's like that. That's yeah. it. Ooh. Wonderful. Guys, okay. You have to invite Miles over to do what? Sorry, Miles. I know you're on a thing. You have to invite him over and teach him how to play Bakugan. Oh, oh yeah. Oh absolutely. No, oh, we we are, we'll, we'll do that with everyone. Yeah. Yeah, legit. Fine. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> Hands down, I'm there. All right. Wonderful. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. 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 And they're gone. Wonderful. God, what that was a great chat. Hey, I hope you guys found that insightful. I did. It's such a it's such a an interesting world that doesn't often get talked about. And and also like voice acting is becoming such a huge industry now way more than it used to be you have a lot of celebrities becoming voice actors now and i think voice actors in general don't really get as much exposure as they should do so so follow them on their instas follow them on on certainly follow anna on on twitch and go watch her streams when she twitch 